House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, said in a statement that the Syrian regime's chemical weapons assault was a brutally inhumane war crime which demands a powerful, clever and calculated response. However, she stated Trump must present a more comprehensive approach on Syria to Congress and search lawmakers' approval. Rep. Eric Swalwell, Democrat California, tweeted that it was the same as when Trump struck Syria last year without congressional approval. What changed? Zero, Swalwell tweeted. They're still using chemical weapons. This is the result of a failure to have a strategy and engage Middle East countries to solve this problem. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, D. New York, said, a pinpointed, limited action to punish and hopefully deter Assad from doing this again is appropriate, but the administration has to be careful about not getting us into a greater and more involved war in Syria. The president announced in an address to the nation from the White House that U.S. airstrikes, in tandem with the United Kingdom and France, were underway in Syria, in response to an alleged chemical attack near Damascus last weekend. At a later Pentagon briefing, Defense Secretary James Mattis said that the president had the authority to launch the strikes under Article 2 of the Constitution because Mattis said Trump was defending U.S. interests. Key Republicans on Capitol Hill said Friday night that they supported Trump's decision. The United States has taken decisive action in coordination with our allies, said Speaker Paul Ryan, Republican Wisconsin, who said at his weekly news conference Thursday that he believed that Trump had authority to act against Syria with any new congressional approval. We are united in our resolve that Assad's barbaric use of chemical weapons cannot go unanswered. His regime's unconscionable brutality against innocent civilians cannot be tolerated. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, RKY, said he supports both the action and the objective. I applaud the president for taking military action against the Assad regime for its latest use of chemical weapons, and for signaling his resolve to do so again if these heinous attacks continue, said Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona. Chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Of note was Senator Bill Nelson, Democrat Florida, who faces a tough re-election fight against Florida's Republican Governor Rick Scott, and who backed Trump's response to Syria, tweeting, I support the attack because Assad must be held accountable for the use of chemical weapons.